So we just gave you guys an update on Shahar and what's going on with him from what Dallas told us at the premiere last week. Well, it just so happens that Shahar was actually at the London premiere yesterday. This is a really cool update because it means one of a couple of different things. One, it means that he is no longer in the armed forces fighting for the IDF, which is a huge possibility because he could have let, been let go from the reinforcements that were asked for, the people that were brought up uh, from the reserves into the IDF, or it could mean that he got a leave from battle for a while to go to this event in particular. I'm not sure which one it is. He doesn't mention it at all, though I did think it was an interesting update for Shahar in general to be able to see where he's at. So here is the section of the premiere in London where Shahar showed up and actually did an interview with the host there. So let's check this out. Well, we cannot wait to see that. That has really got us ready to, to watch it. And, and I'm joined by one of the actors, Shahar Isaac, who plays Simon Peter. And Hello. <laughs> I think, I think maybe you got the biggest cheer just then. You're very popular. And part of that is because you've developed this character who is really complex. You've got a lot of uh, you know, interest in that character. Is that something you worked on that, uh, when you developed that character right from the beginning? I can only give the credit to the complexity of the character, to the writers, truly. Um, they wrote a complex character that every season it goes through enormous change. Uh, where we see the character in season one, where we see Simon in the beginning. Uh, you know, can you imagine that at the end of season three? What a shift, and that's all the writing, really. Every season, there is such a change from the beginning until the end, and uh, everything is, uh, yeah, and we're in season four seeing uh, even larger change. I was, so was going to say, what, uh, what can we expect from season four with Simon Peter? It's so maturity, maturity. We started as uh, children, and um, all we cared about is uh, how we get by, how we end the week, playing games, as we all do. It's okay, you know, it's all uh, natural. And um, at some point, things got real for us. And so um, throughout the first three seasons, it was kind of this shedding, the, all this childhood and all the things that uh, came with us before the story. And now in season four, we finally get there and we are, we are seeing things uh, more equal. We are trying to find how we can see others more than we can see ourselves. And, um, and that's a huge force, you know, to just taking care of the others a little bit, a less than just thinking about yourself uh, it's always i think maybe a positive thing to put uh, attention away from you you know and part of that journey um you may remember watch those people watching on youtube you may remember the scene right at the end of series three when you walk out on water and you just don't quite have enough faith and you end up in jesus's arms in the boat yeah. that's a really powerful scene what was that like to act so i was just uh telling you when i was misbehaving while we were waiting for the camera to come um so uh I, now i can continue uh, with the ease so uh, basically there's uh there's it's incredible because everything there it's not it seems to be more um uh, effects but it's actually it's incredibly uh, painted in the back but the action is is extremely real so uh, we're in boats, the boats are moving, uh, we're in high waves in the water, there's a gigantic rain machine above us, and so, and it was all night, so you couldn't really see beyond, and so uh, truly it was, you know, this one gigantic uh, circumstance and situation that you didn't need much, it was all there, it was all incredibly real, and we were all wet for an entire week at night, and we just, we, we were there, we were there, it felt real. Do you, do you all get on on set? I've been asking some of the other cast members and they all say you, you all get on and have fun because we've seen the outtakes from series three and you look like you have a lot of fun. Well, they're all lying. I'm not going <laughs> to just say the truth. No, I'm kidding. I, uh, no, here's the thing, though. It's, um, I guess in a situation like this, it's the, the thing that is uh, expected is to say that we're getting on, but genuinely and honestly, it's uh, one of the most incredible groups of people that uh, I've had the chance to know and work with. And, um, you know, Dallas leads a very coherent and cohesive and togetherness. We're all equal. We're all together. We all love each other. We're all kind of sharing the burden and, uh, and doing it together. And it's uh, really, and, and Dallas also, the, the kind of human beings that he chose. We fit each other and we love each other, truly. You, well, you are the man who plays Simon Peter. Shaha Isaac, thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Let's thank give you, him a good send-off.
Now, most of what Shahard talks about here is about season three, although he does mention a maturing in season four. Now, we know that that means that he's going to have his name change in season four. Obviously, we've been talking about this for months now. Really looking forward to this moment at Caesarea Philippi that they've been building up for years. E years ago, the Chosen put in my comments that they were going to use this point as the point to change Peter's name. So we've been waiting for this for a long time. Really, really excited for Peter to finally come into fruition and to see him become the leader that we've been seeing him grow into over the last several seasons so should be a lot of fun no longer calling him simon but only calling him peter should be really really cool some funny moments i'm sure there as well but a lot of cool things coming up we didn't hear much else about season four from this interview in particular but that's what we got as always, we'll keep you updated here on The Chosen Sleuth as to what's going on with The Chosen and other Christian media projects. Of course, Shahar is someone who we care about a lot, and we want to be praying for him over in Israel. There's a lot of stuff obviously happening over there. But hopefully we'll see him soon for Season 5 as they begin filming, and obviously in the rest of Season 4 as it gets into theaters. Looking forward to it a ton. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.